I might as well get started. Um, I have to ask everybody, what is it that makes you interested in ghost hunting? Just paranormal. You, you're curious, you want to find out what's going on and everything else. Well, what happened to me when I was a child, I lived in a haunted house and all kinds of terrible things happened to me. I was actually pushed into a heater. Um, um, there was this weird black thing, and I could describe it, but you'll probably laugh at me. But it came up by the window, the window opened up, and it had a snout. And from that snout, a mist came and hit me. And the next day, I had bronchitis. So all kinds of terrible things happened to me. So when I got older, I started thinking to myself, was that childhood nightmares, or did I really witness the paranormal? So I started reading all kinds of books on the paranormal and everything else. And when I became a ghost hunter in 2006, I almost gave up and didn't believe in it. I said, I said, okay, I hear the EVPs, electronic voice phenomenon, but that could be a voice from another room. And I went to this one case, and it was in Citrus Heights. And in Citrus Heights, I had 15 people, and they were scouts. They were ghost hunters in training. So I had five in one room, five in another room, and five in another room. And 10 of them were falling asleep because nothing was happening. And the other five, I walked in, and I could hear a little girl giggling. I go, wow. I said, can you hear that? They go, yeah, we're recording it. I go, wow. And then I hear her giggle again. I said, she's no more than three feet in front of me on the corner of this bed. And I hear her giggle again. So I put my face towards her giggle. I go, hello. And she goes, hello. I go, holy oh, I mean, I was, I go, I believe in the afterlife. I believe in the paranormal. Wow, this is really happening. So, I had all 15 people in that room. And stop me if you have any questions. But anyway, I had all 15 people in this room. I had a seance. And the, the walls sound like they were ripping apart. Uh, there was a series of knocks. And all 15 people were running out the door. Scared to death. And I said, okay, I have to get them back in. I said, please, come on back in. we got to reconvene. we got to do this again. So we had three walkie-talkies on the floor. And one of the walkie-talkies turns on. That was a man's voice. And he goes, get out. And all 15 are running out the door. And the lady says, Paul, I have to live here. She goes, you're welcome to stay in that bedroom. I go, yeah, okay. So anyway, I stayed in the bedroom. And as I was sleeping, I fell completely into a death sleep. But there was a, they re were recording, and it was a woman's voice, and she was going, Paul, Paul, Paul. And then it was a man's voice mumbling. There was a little boy moaning at the foot of the bed, and there was a little tap on the headboard. And I slept through the whole thing. But at that point in time, it made me a believer, and I always go out and hope that something like that will happen again. And I've been on something like a thousand investigations, and I've only seen four full body apparitions. Now, I'm going to tell you, you guys all probably want to go somewhere, right? Okay, you're always welcome to join us. But this is how we do it, okay? So you hear about orbs. And orbs could be almost anything, right? It could be dust, dew drops, light refractions, um, skin flakes. It could be almost anything. So how would you determine if an orb is actually paranormal? Does anybody know? What's that? Okay, that's kind of close. That's kind of close. Okay, so on one of my cases, we had a ghost named Emily. I like this song. But anyway, um, 
No, I just lost my train of thought. So anyway, but anyway, uh, at this one place, they had a ghost named Emily, and Emily would actually drain your energy. So one of my investigators, he goes, Paul, I need to sit down. He goes, I feel really drained. I go, hello? I go, so Emily must be draining her. So I said, take a seat. Then I had two other photographers. I go, I go, Emily, if you're listening to me, kiss them on the lips. Kiss them on the lips. So three cameras snap, and we get an orb on his mouth. That told me right there, intelligent movement. So I had to try it again. I go, Emily, okay, if you like him, sit on his lap. We snap the photo, and we get an orb hovering over his head. So that's intelligent movement. So if you're ghost hunting, that's something that you want to utilize. Well, so I'll tell Deanna, I'll go, Deanna, put your hand on the wall. And then she goes, no, you do it. <laughs> okay, I got my hand on the wall. You take the picture. So she'll take the picture. I say, if you're listening to me, appear by my hand. And boom. She'll take a picture, and if there's an orb by my hand, that's intelligent movement. So that's what we go for. Now, we do what is called, oh, and also take a She brought all the little fancy equipment. What, what is the Actually, I have a thing. I didn't bring it in. This video, I went ahead and set it up because it takes a little while. But this video here is, I have spirits that show up when I sing.